were destroying our heart and soul. Right now, another battle between preservation and progress is brewing on Nashville's Music Row. Tomorrow, developers plan to take their plan for a 135 apartment uh, complex building on 16th Avenue South to the city for approval. The problem for some is this plan involves bulldozing three historic buildings. Fox 17 Sky Arnold has the story tonight. It's rotters in the sky. The walls of this accounting firm Mel Tillis. are a who's who of its clients. The majority of our clients are music industry related. That's why Melinda Drennan moved here five years ago into a former publishing building that once produced 14 number one hits like this one by Crystal Gale. The building on its left has similar music history and the one on the right is one of the few remaining pre-war apartments. But developers want to demolish them all to build 16th Avenue apartments. When you see everything being torn down and it, it goes into these apartments and condos, it's just, that's not what <laughs> makes Nashville, Nashville. Drennan isn't the only one worried about this. We're destroying our heart and soul. Robbie Jones is with Historic Nashville Inc., a group dedicated to preserving historic buildings. Much like the recent fight over Studio A, he believes the future of Music Row hangs on preserving buildings like this. Music Row is a part of our history that it, that it's made Nashville, Nashville. It, we're the it city because of our music industry. Um, other cities, you know, Charlotte, Atlanta, Raleigh, Dallas would love to have that part, would love to have that component in their history. It remains to be seen if that argument will stop the development. This analysis by the Metro Planning Department recommended approving it with conditions, citing the need for additional housing options. Count Drennan among those who feel history is more important than housing. If we keep going like this, it's going to be condo row or apartment row. While we were unsuccessful in our attempts to reach the developers of this project, their plan will be up for vote tomorrow at the Metro Planning Commission and then later before the Metro Council.